Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ultra and welcome to a new CK3 video. Um, today we're going to be starting as Count Yud's Robertine, uh, definitely one of the harder characters to start as. Um, and we're going to be trying for the achievement, and I'm going to try and put it on the screen for you right now. It's called Kings to the Seventh Generation, uh, wherein you start as Count Yud's and your Robertine dynasty has to somehow make its way from being a lowly count to becoming king of all of France. Um, so it's not the easiest one to get, but it is doable. Um, if you want to do this character for yourself, he's going to be right here in the Great Adventurers tab. Um, and we're going to click on Count Yudes and read a little bit about him right now. In July of 866, the Viking raider Heston, this guy right here, slew Yudes' father, Robert the Strong. Mere months later, his mother, Adelaide, dies giving birth to his brother, Robert. The world is a cruel and the future might seem uncertain, but these orphan boys are destined to sit on the French throne. Their descendants, the Capets, will rule France for centuries to come. Yeah, so you start off as Count Yudes, you have a younger brother, Robert. Um, you have a half-brother who's your overlord, so it's quite a bit of a mess, but we're going to get into the game right now, and we're going to kind of talk about our strategy of how we're going to get this achievement. Okay, here we are on the map screen. Um, so, in our character, we start out uh, as the Count of Anjou, of Salmar here, and we have Chartres here. Where our overlord is Duke Hugo, our half-brother, who is actually wealth. That means he's Bavarian. The wealth family is from Bavaria, which I think Bavaria is somewhere... I don't know exactly where it is, Bavaria. I think it's over here somewhere. I'm not sure 100% exactly where it is. Uh, but anyways, he's not French. <laughs> he somehow controls uh, controls me, controls a bunch of, of territories. He actually controls the duchy, Auxerre, Nevers, and Touraine right here. So he also controls three, plus he's the duke. Um, actually, interestingly enough, the duchy of Anjou... Uh, which he controls, this actually includes Sable and Maine. So it's actually one, two, three, four. These four counties here is actually the duchy. So it's a bit of a mess. You know, France in general is just a bit of a mess right now. It's, uh, you know, um, the king, uh, Charles the Ball, the the, the, uh, the Carlings just all split up and everything just kind of turned into a whole nightmare here. Uh, with, I think, it's, yeah, the Italy, uh, Lotharinga, East Francia, yeah, it's all the same family that rules. Basically, you know, uh, Charles the Great, I believe his name was, you know, Charlemagne, controlled everything. He controlled basically from here all the way over. And I think, yeah, Asturias is a different family. Yeah, this is the Visigothics. This is the um, Cantabria rules this. And this is the one that split up into Galatia, Leon, and Castile. But that's a different story. Okay, but anyways, going back to what we're doing. Um, so let's look at our character and how we're going to start. Yeah, just to the left of us, actually, is Montagu. This is the guy who killed our father. This is uh, Count Heston. Um, who came here, landed here, took this county, and our father, Robert the Strong, fought him and unfortunately was killed by him. But as you can see, yeah, Count Heston actually is a really good character. I mean, you can actually play a campaign as him. Um, and be really, I mean, he starts off with so many special troops, like, it's just unreal. It's, it's a, to, to start off uh, with this guy, is just like, it's easy mode, right? Um, so this is a, a problem we have to worry about here. We have to worry about our brother who's okay with us. He's all right. He doesn't hate us. Um, we're going to have to take over this duchy, so we're going to have to get into a bit of a family squabble. And that's just, you know, the only way about, around it. Um, and let's, let's actually look at our character now, finally. Uh, we are 10 years old, a little boy. We have a little brother. Uh, and basically, we're just running the shop ourselves. I think our, our we have, must have somebody actually running our counties for us at the moment. It might be our brother. I'm not sure who. Uh, let's look at our traits. We're calm. Uh, diplomacy, intrigue, stress loss. Okay, not bad. Chase, that's not great. That's a, not a good one. I mean, yes, it's great for piety. I don't care about that. Um, we're not doing holy wars here. Um, fertility minus 25%. That's not good. Uh, that's not good. I don't like that one at all. Uh, rowdy. Okay, for Marshall. And yes, yeah, so it's actually picked for us. Uh, Marshall focus, which is fine. Um, this is all random, by the way. So if you don't like these traits, you can always re-roll your character to try and find you know a more a better outcome. This is the one that I really don't like. This one, I mean, whatever. Dread Decay plus 50% is not good. Scheme to cover each discovery chance is good. So this is not terrible. It's just this chase one. It's just, it's going to be harder to have kids. You know, I just don't like that one. But anyways, fine. We're going to play with it as it is. Um, now, in terms of first targets, what are we going to get? We need to build up our troops big time. Like, we have nothing. 373 is a joke. It's it's nothing. We're, we don't even have enough knights to fill out our... Uh, our thing here, we have a zero, and a six here, we could recruit a six, like, big deal. Um, 
So we're going to have to take out something small like Vendom here right off the bat um, and see if maybe we can look at that. But looking at our domains, we're only three of three. Like we're really not great in terms of domain. Our stewardship is actually considered to be terrible. We're minus 12% in taxes. Um, yeah, we're, we're, it's not a great start uh, in terms of our character development. Um, it might be worthwhile. It might be worthwhile to put this into stewardship. Is it, uh, Rowdy often do well with Marshall. So it might, we can't pick this because it's going to do a negative effect. We're not going to do learning anyways. Uh, diplomacy, eh, intrigue might be okay too. We can get away with intrigue. Um, and then just, you know, worry about killing people. Like, cause we're, I think we're, I think it's in line to take something. Is there, what are we in line to get for that thing? We are in line, fourth in line. So we'd have to kill basically four people to take over these with, uh, intrigue. It's doable. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that kind of uh, that kind of playthrough right now. Uh, so it's going to be education. Or it's going to be stewardship. Um, this is a tough one because we have the bonus. If we had the you know the bonus somewhere else, I just I just click on stewardship. But we already have the bonus for Marshall, uh, intrigue and Marshall. Yeah, plus one learning. Um, yeah, it's just because our domains are so low. Three and three, that's it. Like you know, it, we might get one more. You know. Uh, it's a tough one. This is a tough one. Um, I think I'm going to go stewardship. I think we're going to switch it. And we're going to pick stewardship because we need to really build up our... Yes, we're going to go to war, but we're going to be able to bring in decent generals. I'm not worried about that. Uh, our marshal's already decent as it is. It's, you know, we've got this plus one. Um, I think I'm going to go switch to stewardship and try and get this going a little bit. I mean, uh, just having it as terrible is just not great. So I'm going to pick this and try and get this uh, stewardship... Uh, Learning going a little bit. Uh, can we be changed once? Let's change it now. Let's actually change our educator. Who is educating us? Let's find someone who's actually with decent stewardship. Uh, my half sister, and she is an indulgent wastrel. Uh huh. Brave, ambitious, vengeful. Yeah, we're going to have her teach me. It's better than nothing. All right. Send proposal, and I'm sure she's going to say yes. And now let's look at spouse for a second. Um, let's arrange betrothal. Who is it going to be? Um, I don't think we're gonna anything decent with alliance power. Let's do, let's see for example who's the best. Eight hundred men. Eh, it's nothing great. Nothing great. Uh, Provence. How she's way older than me. Um, well, I thought she was wearing a Santa hat for a second. Uh, no Irish. Like and just goes down. It gets worse from there. Three hundred men. Like it's not worth it unless there's somebody outstanding. So we're gonna try and look at prestige. Uh, Cantabria. Yes, that's the family that rules Asturias. Uh, Visigothic. Yeah, that could be good. Uh, Carling. She's 14, uh, humble, what's this one, diligent, and just. This is really good stats. 14, she's four years older than me. Uh, she's martial. Hmm, I might actually go for the, maybe her younger sister, 12, a little bit closer in age, that's all. Uh, callous and calm. I kind of like the stat, the, uh, the traits better. Humble, piety, yeah. Martial, diplomacy, everything, diligent, just great, and just. Yeah, the two years might not be worth it. Like, calm, callous, tyranny. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the older sister, Carly. Uh, and plus, I'm going to get a lot of prestige because she is a Carly. Uh, and Prince Pepin of, it of Italy I'll get an alliance with. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, same proposal will accept plus one. Wow, very close. Is dear. Well, <laughs> is she the oldest daughter? It is the oldest daughter. Okay, well... There we go. How about to a nice uh, count, soon to be Duke. All right, let's hit play and get this thing going. Yes, Alliance formed, betrothed is done. It's gonna be six years. So basically what we need to do now is kind of build up our forces if we can. Let's actually have a look here at our guys. Um, they're all gonna be pretty terrible, just uh, straight up. Um, actually, do we have, aha, uh -huh. I have a house sister who's already got a spouse. Anybody who's not married, yes. Aha, so maybe I can bring in somebody who's actually really good here. Let's see if I can bring in like a really bomb Marshall Loop. Genius, chaste, forgiving, honest. Will he marry matrilineal? He will. 34 years old. How old is she? 25. Spinous Lackey. Well, Spinous Lackey, marry Loop. And I'm going to bring him in as my Marshall. I think that's what I'm going to do. Genius. Yeah. And matrilineal. So maybe, yeah, the kids will get the, the uh, genius trait. We're going to do this. 
She's going to lose a lot of prestige. I get it. I get it. But I don't care about her prestige. He's going to get a lot, but he's going to come to my court, and I'm going to put him in as my marshal. That's a bit of a, a sneaky move there, which is totally legit. It's totally doable. A sign. He's now my marshal. There we go. We now have a 21 marshal. Uh, organized levies. I mean, 414. That's it. I jumped to 414 like that. Now, do I have another sister? I think I do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's the one actually educating my uh, myself, actually. Uh, now, what else do I need to bring in? Ah, uh, diplomats. Maybe a steward. Do I have a bomb steward I can bring in? A uh, 62-year-old guy, eh? Uh, let's see, who else? Okay, she's 17. Um, Gregaria Stubborn. Mm, a Slovenian. I don't know. I don't know if I want to bring this guy in. 20 steward. Is it worth it? Uh, this guy's good. It's a spy master. How about a chancellor? I have a better chancellor. I'm not crazy about that guy. 30 year old, brave, generous, Croatian, Franconian, ambitious, honest, gregarious. I don't like the ambitious one because he doesn't like the liege. That's the reason I don't like it. 28. This is just so much older than her. I feel kind of bad. I don't, it's only a game, but I still feel bad. Uh, honest, lazy, impatient. Um, I don't know if I need a better diplomat. I, I really, I need a, what I need is a better steward. That's what I do need. Um, yeah, it's it's not great for my, uh, it's not great for my, for my sister to marry this guy, but um, 27 years old, 10 years older than her. All right, it's going to be this dude. And... Gregarious, stubborn, and greedy. Yeah, and he's going to become my steward. That's exactly what's going to happen. Send proposal. And let them get married. Unfortunately, unfortunately, she can't say no. Excellent. Good. All right. Get this guy in there. All right. Matrilineal marriages. Here we go. Um, so now I have a decent guy. And what I'm actually going to do... Um, let's actually check out our development. Our development's actually only five here in Anjou. Uh, and it's going to be, let's say for example, somewhere in Paris, it's going to be 15. Let's just pop a couple turns of development, because doing development is going to get us building construction time. Yes, I know, we're not building anything right now, but it's going to give us um, better taxes and better control. So let's do this. Um, as you can see here, yeah, development point 28, uh, uh, efficient taxation. It's just better all around to have um, better development. If you actually go to your development button here, this development uh, tier, I should say, it tells you everything you're going to get. Monthly growth, 3.8 from neighbors, whatever. Developing country, 3.6. Holy site, okay, currency. Yeah, so it's going to be levies increased by 2.5%. Taxes increased by 2%. Supply limit increased by 750 at level 5. So let's just put a couple of levels into development. Again, I'm not going to go up to 15 like Paris, but I'll, I don't want to be a backwater here in Anjou. I want to have some development. Um, and yeah, so this guy's going to be building up our reinforce our, uh, our levies. Um, 1.9. And I'm not sure I'm able to do any men-at-arms. I don't think I'm going to be able to have enough. Uh, not endorsed by my suffragan bishop, so let's do a sway. I can't do a sway. I'm too young. All right, does not going to let me do a sway for right now. So nothing I can do. Declare. I can See, that's a funny thing. I can declare war, but I can't do a sway, right? It's it's nuts. Okay, so let's just see our claims. Yes, we have a, we have a solid press claim on Vendome. So I think we might do that first. We're not going to do it just yet because I don't have enough I can't hold it, okay? And if I and if I take it, I'm going to start taking, like, I think it's like a 20% uh, penalty you get for being over your domain. So if you can, if we can afford to do it, you know, if you have a ton of counties, okay, we're over by one, but I'm earning, like, whatever it is, six, seven, eight gold a month, okay, fine, I can take a 20% hit. At 1.9, I can't take a 20% hit. There's just no way to do it. Uh, heterosexual girls are fascinating. Well, I hope so, because I'm not betrothed. Um, and I really hope I become a little bit better steward. Please, please, please. Get better, get better. Marshal, I, ha I have a good marshal. I don't need to be the, I don't need to lead my armies. That's fine. I'm not going to be a warlord. Let the guy, let someone else lead my armies. Um, I'm going to be controlling territories. I need to have good stewardship to be able to keep these things under control. Um, and yes, I, I know about dread and I can get the dread gain, stuff like that. But if I run them properly and I have good stewardship, then, um, yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, so we actually we do we have claims on so so much. I actually had nineteen claims. Here it is. Look at all these. Worms, spire. Oh, this is all in. Uh, yeah, it's all. This is, so this must be Bavaria here. This is where the wealth family comes from here. Oh yes. Okay. Well, this is where Bavaria is. Must be because I have claims in all of these places. Like it's unreal. How many claims we have? 
Uh, this is unpressed. So once this is only my claim, so uh, so unpressed means and then press though will transfer uh, inherited to my children. So my children will be able to keep these press claims. Uh, so even if we don't get it in my lifetime, uh, my children can get it. And yes, that's the thing with this achievement. It does not have to be Yudes himself. Um, but that was the cheese people were doing. They were taking Yudes, declaring war, kidnapping the king, and then winning the war right away with some scheme. Um, yeah, we're not going to do it that way, I don't think. Um, but this, the point being is my kids can actually, once, as long as it's Robertine, so no, um, what's it called? Uh, branch dynasties here, right? No cadet branches. Um, maybe it works in a cadet branch. I'm not even really sure. I, I wouldn't risk it. I'm going to stick as Robertine, even though I'm not the head of the uh, dynasty here. It's uh, actually um, this guy here, Count Yudes of Bourbon. He's also, see, we're all related to all these people here. He's actually, yeah, head of House Robertine. He actually controls quite a bit, significant amount of territory, significant amount. And he's way over, too. Aha, uh -huh, I might have to kill this guy. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, so basically, what we're doing now is we are. Getting of age. That's what we need to do. We need to get to 16 years old. So the cloistered use. I've been corresponding with your chancellor. Oh. Who is this? Oh. Uh, because this guy made a mistake. Let's just do internal. Let's just do internal for now. Because I don't want to screw anything up with anybody else. He already screwed up with the, the uh, Count of Orleans here. Um, yeah, so having... Even though he's, he's poor. Yeah, that's why. Even eight is poor. He's the only guy I have. I don't think I have any sibling sisters left to marry off. Do I? Do I? Uh, my actual sister, Robert Robertine. It's my younger brother. And I have an actual direct sister. Uh, Covetous gambler. She's a gambler. She's, she's three. Okay, I judge My sister Judith spoke to me about the capital sentence that Lily Thief has been given two days ago. She wanted to know what I thought. Oh, so here's something for me. Okay, good. Um, I can get just, cynical, or temperate. Oh, between temperate and... Uh, it's going to be temperate or just. I think it's going to be just. Stewardship plus two, but just, I think, is really good for a leader. Stewardship plus two, intrigue minus. Vassal opinion plus five, that's why. It's, so it's plus two, minus three intrigue. What is temperate going to give me again? Uh, plus two, small health boost. Ooh, bah. Okay, this is a really close one. It's a really close one. I'm just worried about uh, my intrigue being so low. Um, opinion of arbitrary characters. I don't care about that. Um, yeah, this is a tough call. Virtuous Catholics. I'm gonna get uh, plus. One. I mean, I've already got chased for the uh, the piety. I got enough piety coming in. I'm gonna do. It was too much. A punishment should match the crime. Just. I like just as a leader. It's gonna be great. Get some better stewardship going. Uh, and now look, it went up to four. So that being said, Vendom it is. Let's just check out his territory. Two hundred men. Um, yeah, we have absolutely terrible dog poop troops. Can I recruit this guy? Uh, 10 gold. And I just want him as a knight. Unyielding defender, tough soldier. Okay, he's going to be a knight. And we're going to go to Vendom. We're going to go to declare war. My claim on Vendom and declare war. So... Doing this campaign uh, smartly and slowly is the key. Like, you can't rush it because you get your head of yourself really easily. That's the problem. Let's just check our general. Uh, my brother-in-law, Marshall and Knight, he's 21, and he is an organizer. Retreat loss is perfect. All right, let's go. First war of the campaign. All right, they're going to try and run. High quality, yeah. Oh, he's coming back. We're going to meet them. Here we go. Right here in... Right, right by the capital. Okay. And looks like this is going to be five knights versus four knights. We have a much better general. And it's donezo. Finito. Done. All right. Let's take this... Uh... Oh, they actually escaped with some dudes. Okay. Skirmish. Oh, a skirmish. Okay. Uh, point seven. I wonder if I can actually start bringing in guys. Now, just in terms of man-at-arms... Um, how much is it going to cost me to have them raised? 0.6. Ooh, I can actually create this. All right, Bowman it is. Um, and the reason why. Why are you drinking Bowman, of all things? The reason why I'm bringing in Bowman is because almost every single AI army that I've ever seen that's uh, feudal uh, European brings in light footmen for some reason as the first ones. 
Uh, maybe because it's the cheapest. I'm not sure exactly why they do that, but they always bring in light footmen. And what counts as light footmen? It's, oh man, I don't have enough dudes. Um, I should have enough once the, uh, the arches raise up a bit. Attempt of my life. What adult would be this cruel, watchful? I know you don't know who exactly. I know exactly who it was. It was Heston. It was this guy. This is who's trying to kill me. Absolutely, this is who's trying to kill me. Disrupt schemes. That's who it is. It's Heston who's trying to kill me. He Heston really does not like me. Um, yeah. So they always bring in these light footmen. I don't know if they have any in this guy. Actually, they don't have any in this guy's army. But they always bring in light footmen. So I'm gonna bring a Bowman first. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a problem here because Max, we've already maxed out our war skill. We can't take this without, uh, let me take this one. All right, this one I can take. And can we, do we have any of the troops to raise? Nope, nothing yet. 398, one. All right, we got to rebuild up our forces. So this guy, our our marshals, really got to redo our levies. You can negotiate alliance with Duke Hugo. No, we're not going to do that. Call ally Pepin. No, we're not going to do that. I wonder if he's going to come back and fight me again. So once we get this, maybe it'll go to like seventy five. Uh, but it's not. I'm not going to be able to take actually Vendome itself. They actually have four fifty six men. Aha. So I might actually have to call on the ally. I don't really want to. But I might not have a choice. Okay, I might just do it. How much is it going to cost me? 75? I'll just do it. His 200 men will be uh, enough. Excellent. All right, come. Let's just take this siege out. Stack on me and we'll go siege this one out together. Come stack on me, Pepe. You're already marching here anyways. Counselor Loop died. Oh, no. Pause. Pause that game. Which one was he? This one. Okay. Svetpopluk. Wrathful, temperate, paranoid. 21. Oh, man. She must hate me. Who is this guy from? Does he have any troops? No, it's not going to be an alliance here. Um, there's never a quiet moment. My brother Robert is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage him. Okay. Okay, done. Marshall. All right, Marshall. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What troops do we have here? Two knights. Or two special troops. Elite quality troops. Where's he going? Who's Pepin fighting? Are you fighting somebody else? Uh, 98. All right, let's see if we can do something here. Oh, it's going to be actually a close one. Oh, we won it, though. Uh, raise all here. Who is in this? Uh, one knight, looks like, and one levy. Okay. I still can't take it, though. Enemy combatants captured. Okay, well, we got that at least. All right, let's try it again now. I don't remember exactly. How much was it? How much was the garrison? It says the garrison here is 400. So we have enough now at 443. I do. Okay, this should be it now. Okay, I just needed uh, a little bit of uh, getting my, my troops built up again. Okay, I'm walking with Judith, who is my sister. Um, a tiny sound. Under every stone, I find it. A small puppy. It's my puppy now. Uh, it's my puppy now. I get a pet dog. Lovely. Diplomacy and prowess. Great. The dog. Hold fast or shadow. Hold fast. What a great name. Beautiful. All right, so this war... It's going to take a while to siege us out, but we're going to get it. We are going to get it 100%. Oh, Duke Hugo. Well, he converted finally. King Charles. Ooh, on his. Are they are they brothers? Is that how it works? Oh, he has his own thing now. Is that his brother? Children. Oh, his siblings. Is that? Okay, so he, yeah, it is his brother, right? Oh, I don't know. King. It's all so confusing, this whole family. This uh, Carling family. The whole... Chain is like really crazy. Uh, 13 days and we're gonna take our first county before we're even, uh, you know, of age. There we go, done, finally. What a, what a drag. 
disband. Okay, there we go. Vendome is now ours, and the Duchy of Anjou has grown. Beautiful. Now, we can actually negotiate alliances. Um, Count Conrad of Savoy, absolutely, that's a great one. And Count Guelph of Ulm, we're going to do that one as well. We're not going to be doing it against, uh, with Duke Hugo, though. Um, powerful Vasa wants a position. Who is this? Baron. Um, Baron. No, nothing. Sorry, Baron. Get, get good, and then we'll talk. Um, Marvelous News, great. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, where are we now? We're at six. Uh, 12, okay, offensive war. People did not like me going to war just now. But our cat, look at this. We, this is actually random, by the way. So sometimes the game puts in buildings for you here, and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. Uh, so right now, Angers, my capital here, the capital has absolutely nothing. So we really, really need to put some stuff in, but it costs quite a bit of gold. So we're just going to kind of have to run out the clock, like I said.